We'll jump right into it right now. It's been a slow and methodical search this morning for a man who shot at two deputies over the weekend. Yeah, it's going to get uh, ready to ramp up once again in just a few minutes. Authorities taking no chances as the person they're looking for is suspected of killing a 64-year-old man last week. Starting today, Paiute Mountain Elementary, South Fork Elementary, and South Fork Middle School will all be closed this morning until further notice due to law enforcement activity in the area. And again, their search continues tonight in Jawbone Canyon, which which is along Highway 14. It's about 20 miles north of Mojave. That area is closed to the public right now as officials continue on with their search. For the latest on that effort, we turn to 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo. She joins us live this morning in Weldon with the very latest. Laura. Good morning, guys. As you can see, the Kern County Sheriff's SWAT team has arrived and they are getting ready to head out where they will continue this manhunt that has been going on for several days now. They are stepping up their patrol right now at 6 a.m. They are going to go through a shift change and the suspect they are looking for is a white male between the age of 30 and 35 years old. He has long brown hair, blue eyes, and weighs approximately 160 pounds. After two nights of searching for the suspect, the area was back open last night for through traffic as sheriff's deputies eased off on their search into the night, only searching for the suspect in patrol units and not on foot. For officer safety reasons, it's dark. Uh, the area that they were searching on foot is extremely dark. And for officer safety concerns, it'd be technically unwise to search for the suspect on foot, considering he's armed and dangerous. Deputies think the suspect who shot at them is connected to the murder of David Lewis Markowitz, the man who was found dead in a cabin last week. Authorities have confirmed the attacker matches the description of a man who held three people at gunpoint in a cabin Tuesday near Twin Oaks. Different agencies stepped in over the weekend to assist in the manhunt, including personnel and equipment from BPD, Ridgecrest, California City, and OC and LA counties. We have two LA County uh, Sheriff's off Office uh, air units circulating the area, assisting with the deputies who are on patrol and searching uh, the area in patrol cars. Uh, they are hovering overhead, assisting in the search. Officials say they will not let their guard down until the suspect is caught. He obviously knows what he's doing and um, we're doing everything tactically to try to find him and we're going to find him because he is armed and dangerous and uh, he's obviously uh, hurt one of us and we, we need to find and apprehend him and it will take whatever resources we need to do to apprehend that suspect. Now, as these officers are getting ready to hit and continue their search, they are leaving and they are heavily armed and all wearing bulletproof vests. I've seen some of them with their hard helmets. They are getting ready to go out there and look for that suspect. Now, they are telling me that if you see this suspect, do not approach him. He is considered armed and dangerous. The best thing you can do is call 911. Reporting live from Jawbone Canyon, Laura Acevedo, 23ABC.